Today is World Kofia Day, a day where you can be super visible in your support for Palestine by simply wearing a kofia. And let me tell you, this scarf is chock full of symbolism and cultural significance, but it's also super practical and versatile, kind of like Palestinians. So today I want to tell you a bit about the kofia while showing you my favorite ways to wear it and its different purposes. So let's get into it. Most, if not all, kofia styles are gonna start with this triangle fold right here. When you first get your kofia, it's gonna be a big square, but just fold two corners over each other to get that triangle shape right there. And maybe the easiest, most common way to wear a kofia is just like this, over your shoulders. It's a great way to keep warm if it gets a little chilly. Sometimes I bunch it up like this to just give me more of like a free flowing scarf, but it's a great way to express your solidarity with Palestine and to express your identity as a Palestinian. So for our next kofia style, we're gonna start with the triangle in the front. We're gonna grab each side in our hands, lay it on our chest, switch sides in the back and bring them forward, and then just adjust it however you like. This is also a really common way to wear the kofia. This is how I grew up wearing it most of my life. It's really good to keep you warm in the winter time. Like I said, they're super practical, but this is also a good way to wear it if you want people to ask you questions about what this is. And that's your opportunity to talk about the kofia, its significance, talk about Palestine, and most importantly right now, talk about Gaza. Our next style is pretty much the inverse of that last one. So you're gonna start with the triangle in the back and then you're gonna bring each side back there with it and then adjust however you like. So you can bring the scarf over your shoulders if that's what you prefer. I'm just gonna keep it like this. And then you get the triangle and both ends in the back. This is a great way to just like switch up the style um, if you want a new way to wear your kofia. The final two styles I'm gonna show you guys are ways you can use your kofia to protect yourself. Unfortunately, standing for Palestine means facing repression, surveillance, and violence, and your kofia could be a really great way to protect yourself from those things. So for this one, we're gonna start with the triangle in front of us like this. We're gonna put it over our mouth and nose, and we're gonna crisscross those pieces in the back and bring them to the front. This is a really great way to softly protect your identity, but also to guard yourself from things like tear gas or pepper spray. Of course, the best way to keep yourself safe from those chemicals is to have a mask, but a kofia is better than nothing. This last style is one of the ultimate ways to protect your identity, and it was commonly used among Palestinians during the 1936 Arab Revolt, as well as the first and second intifadas. And as we see that intifada, that uprising being brought here to the United States, this style has become increasingly more important. You're going to want to put your hair back for this one. Start with your kofia on your head. You want to take the left side, hold your kofia down, bring it backwards around your head to the front, cover your mouth and nose, and kind of tuck it anywhere back there. You want to make this super tight, and then you can bring the other side, just pull it around, and honestly, and kind of just throw it anywhere. And just like that, your identity is protected. Um, I'm teaching our friend Larry here how to put on the kofia as a sort of like a head garb um, in a traditional way. So you'll see he has it on his head like so. Then you're gonna grab one of each side. You're gonna bring it back. It's easy to do on your own, but I'm doing it just to demonstrate. You're, and you're gonna take the knot here and then you sort of fix it up a little bit. Then you take each side, you sort of twirl it around to get it in this like tight rope type thing and get all the way around to fit it into the kofia on this side. Sometimes it, it'll come undone, but you really gotta dig in there. Take this side, twirl, 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 and get around, tie it in there and ta-da. Yay! <laughs> I hope you guys developed an even deeper appreciation for the kofia because it is so much more than just a symbol. It's practical, it keeps you warm, it keeps you cool, it keeps you safe, but above all, it keeps you talking about Palestine, which is still more important than ever right now. This World Kofia Day, take what you learned in this video and use it to take action for Gaza.